Hey everybody, welcome back to another Work in Progress Wednesday, the semi-regular series where I open up my DAW and we take a look at one of my ongoing projects. Today I'm quite excited because I've been noodling and I came up with some really nice ideas for a new track, so I thought I'd turn the camera on and capture some magic while it's happening. So our foundational instrument is going to be this one here, which you might mistakenly consider a spinet, because that's what I named it, um, but actually it is a virginal. I have no idea what the difference is, neither do you. I don't know why I called it that, but let's move on. So to start off the track, we've got this really nice chord progression. It's just two chords. Really nice, really beautiful. And it's a prime example of something really simple, but effective. And here you can see why note choice is so important. Um, because we're going from like E flat major to this like second inversion. G minor 7. Um, and there'd be other ways that we could do this. We could go from the E flat major to um, a B flat major. It's the exact same notes. But somehow it's missing something. And already when you go from the E flat major and you drop down to that second inversion G minor, it's already beautiful. And then when you add the flat 7 in there, that's just a money chord. I love it. Um, so that's the A section there. And then I've got a B section that I want to flesh out a little bit more now. Um, and it goes something like this. Um, yeah, so that's going to be the B section, also quite simple, but there's some really nice chord changes in there. You got the Piccadilly third at the end. Do you like the sustained four chord resolving to D major, and then you can go back to the E flat major after that. Um, so really nice chord changes. Let's see if we can add a few layers on top of this. And continuing with our medieval fantasy type theme, let's go with another traditional instrument, um, in this case the nickel harpa. And these two are going to sound really nice together. Let's try it out. Something like that. Um, we're just trying to get the idea out at the moment. Um, now let's get some really lush strings in there. Um, I'm gonna go with this one, Warm Violin. Just put a couple chords underneath. Um, let's try to double that up with some swells. Um, let's use these ones from 8DO. That's going to be really good. This is going to sound amazing.
harp on top. No, I don't like that. Maybe. Let's see if I can get a clean recording. Not the best playing in the world, but just to hammer out the idea while it's fresh. Yeah, there's basically no end to the amount of layers we could add to this. So I think I'm going to keep that A section really sparse, um, and then that nice B section. We can add different instrumentation as the track progresses. Um, we can have it really swell up and then come back down. Um, we'll see many, many options at this point. And that's a really exciting thing about starting a new idea. Um, there's so many different pathways you can take, so many options, but I really like what's happening so far. So next steps are always going to be cleaning up the playing a little bit, um, work on the timing issues, look about adding either um, a third section or maybe kind of repeating. It's not very long, uh, but harmonically I think I like what's happening. We'll probably try to stay within these two sections, maybe adding a little bit of variety here and there. Cool, let's stop it there for right now and then we'll come back to it another time. All right, that was it for today. Thanks a lot for watching as always and I'll see you in the next one.